What's going on guys, TKD1 to the video, and today we're talking about the brand new games we got a list of for PS Plus, August 2017, and guys, it's a good one. Now look, man, look, okay, so you know, usually, right, you know, PS Plus has been kind of slacking lately, you know, they've been kind of on the down slope, you know, things have been okay, things have been alright, right, but last month, we got some pretty good games, we got Life is Strange, which I've been enjoying on the stream a lot, I love Life is Strange so far, I'm definitely hooked, I'm gonna stream it, you know, pretty soon, guys, I know there's kind of a gap between, the, you know, just in between the streams, but I will get to it, you know in a timely fashion and uh you know we got a bunch of good games uh last month and this month it is a uh, stepped up a notch it is definitely uh in games that i'm i can't wait to play i'm liking it a lot let's get right into it starting off here on the ps4 we have just cause 3 which uh is a uh, is, is a title that you know you would think yeah okay eventually it'll come to ps plus but i don't know about six months seven months out like that game came out i believe it was last december or maybe the december before that i want to say it was last december I think it was this past December in uh, 2016, but we're getting Just Cause 3, the full game, everything. Uh, that is such a great game to have for PlayStation Plus. It's open world, it's action, you know, it's action adventure pretty much. And uh, it is literally, you know, what you can do in the game, supposedly, is the title of the game. You know, Just Cause, like, you can do whatever you want. Uh, you know, I've seen a little bit of gameplay here and there, and I got pretty, I think, okay reviews, honestly. I don't think it blew people away, but I think overall, um, it got, you know, really good reviews for what it was i know there was issues uh with performance and everything like that there's issues uh with the overall optimization at times but i'm sure it's been patched here and there i mean like i would assume so i hope so but uh this is you know uh developed by square enix and everything and overall i'm really happy to play this game guys i'm super hyped to just uh have another gta-esque game where you're just gonna go around do what you want you know what i'm saying there was a little bit of that in horizon but of course horizon was a little bit more narrative driven a little bit more of a story to tell there you know what i'm saying there was you know a little bit of things like that but here in just because it is just going to be, you know, just chilling, hanging out. So I'm definitely hyped for that. I can't wait to play a little bit just because 3. And you'll be getting it for free on PS Plus in August for the PS4. And then just when you thought that the PS4 offerings could be no better, we have an Assassin's Creed game, guys. Yes, and no BS side scroller, no, you know, none of those titles that, you know, were Assassin's Creed and uh, they were released during uh, the year off they had. And I hit my head on the mic, I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> but uh, we are getting a full-fledged, standalone uh, adventure Assassin's Creed game called Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry. And uh, it is set, you know, after the events of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and everything. So you know we'll be getting uh that game as well i don't know like it's so so the way it's worded and you know, honestly you know i forgot this game even existed i totally forgot but um i guess this was made you know i guess it was supposed to be like a dlc but then it just formed into this own standalone thing so i guess it's a little bit like uh first light with infamous you know when that came out on the playstation 4 as like a six months after launch title and everything so i think it's in that same vein where it's going to be kind of just like a standalone thing a little bit more story driven in that world and uh it definitely says that you know here on at least on ign it says it tells a great emotional story in the shell of a classic ac gameplay so definitely pretty cool there it got a seven on ign so pretty good you know not not amazingly blowing away but you know for that score it's a really good game you know seven is a great score you know what i'm saying like regards to people that only look at games like over eights are you know amazing but you know seven seven's a good game overall so definitely excited to play that as well maybe we'll stream that who knows live is strange i'm definitely hooked on that right now but maybe maybe you know we'll dabble into a little bit of uh assassin's creed freedom cry you know what i'm saying and i don't think i've ever seen any you know let's play of it i don't think of any I, I don't think i've seen the gameplay of it personally but i just looked up some quick clips it looks a lot like assassin's creed black flag and of course it is uh, based off of kind of the events of that game and it falls right after it so obviously it's gonna you know have a lot of black flag-esque things in it but uh i'll definitely be you know checking it out totally checking it out why not assassin's creed freedom cry and maybe uh it'll kind of spark my uh, you know, I guess fire, if you will, to get Assassin's Creed Origins, because uh, at this point, I'm probably not going to get Origins, probably not, you know, that, that's a big probably, but who knows, maybe I will, and then maybe this game will be the reason why. Next up here, let's go to the PS3 side of things, now, of course, you know, you know, a like really common occurrence here, uh, the PS3 usually tends to slouch on the game offerings, they used to, you know, they just have kind of, those eh, games aren't really that good, but today we have Super Motherload for the PS3, and it's a top-down, like, arcade-esque looking game, and basically, you, uh, 
uh, are sent out by mankind to go to Mars, and you are basically digging in and finding minerals and stuff like that. It's a very, you know, it's a topic that uh, is very futurist. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm saying, like it's very much of a much of a futurist narrative uh, to have you going out and mining uh, for you know metals, for gems, etc. And uh, you are on Mars and you're digging and you have a rover and you are you know just getting points and stuff like that and doing all that good stuff, right? And so uh, the game offers some upgrades that you can do to your rover so you're a little bit more better and efficient at your mining abilities and everything and you can find money and stuff like that to also do upgrades everything you know that is uh, in a game that is you know like of this caliber and so uh if you are on the ps3 you want to do this this to me again is one of those games that you know at least to me personally i would i would rather play on a mobile standpoint right so that's why i love these games on vita but you know just playing it on the big screen you know i just feel like it's a bit of a waste for me i've just never you know done you know any of those games uh on a big screen i just feel like that's not really the kind of the environment I want to play these games in. I'd rather play it, you know, on the go, on my Vita, you know what I'm saying, something a little bit more mobile, and, uh, yeah, so if you want to be Super Mario Load, you can get that for free on PS3 for the month of August. Next up here, we have a game called Snake Ball, which is kind of roaming the territory of uh, the really weak PS3 games. And if you were to think of a knockoff Rocket League in a very loose way, this is exactly what this game is, right? So you are playing this character and you're on this levitating pad and you collect little balls on the arena. And uh, I guess you collect a lot of them and then you score them in the, in the uh, enemy's goal to score points. I think that's the whole premise of this game so you know even even describing it it does sound a lot like rocket league of course you know rocket league there's a you know there is a big physics thing to do with the whole game there is only one central ball to this game and then this one there's a bunch of different ones so uh it's a little bit like that right so it's i mean again this is one of those games that i wouldn't personally play on the big screen this is where i guess the ps3 um offering for the ps plus games kind of lack me because they're low-key in a way mobile games now, I understand that, you know, this one's a little bit not so much of a mobile game, uh, because, you know, you cannot take the straight-up game and play on the Vita, like, it's, I don't think the Vita can run this game, personally, but, you know, overall, it's a game that, uh, you know, if, if you're down, go ahead, it's free, I'm not gonna dabble in it, I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> do no live stream or no let's play of this game, but if you're interested, it is yours for the taking. And lastly, we are taking a trip to Vita Island, we're discussing the free PS Vita games for the month of August for PS Plus. Now, this game here is called down well and uh it looks like uh it looks like a black and white version of like a tetris looking game and uh, you are basically what i'm reading just the bio of this game you're a young person venturing down a well in search of untold treasures with only his gun boost for protection making your way down into the darkness filled with nasty creatures and mysterious secrets to collect the spectacular red gems scattered about so i guess you have rocket boots something like that and it's it's a very very old aesthetic of the game it's definitely looking uh you know pretty uh just in that old kind of styling where it's black and white there's a little bit of color in it you know it just looks very very uh dated but not to its detriment it's meant to be in that aesthetic so definitely looks really interesting they looks really cool and stuff like that and it looks like i'm looking here uh i'm looking at kind of funny and they actually did a, did a let's play of this on ps4 so definitely cool there and speaking of the ps4 this game is crossed by with said ps4 so you can play this uh, on both the ps4 and on the vita as well so it uh, looks like uh this game you know it's got a little bit of uh, good things there and looks pretty cool so i'll definitely be checking it out on my vita now lastly here we have a game here called level 22 and the premise of this game sounds super cool right so basically you are a man named gary and you come to the realization that you have woken up late for work right so you have two options one you can call off work and two what the game wants you to do is try to sneak into work without your boss detecting you and ever knowing that you were late so you have to sneak through these levels and uh, basically find a way to your desk and be good and be scott clean so this sounds like a pretty cool game looks awesome sounds like a pretty good game and it's obviously uh in the description of it a stealth game so you'll be you know using different various things within the levels uh to make your way to your desk and make sure your boss doesn't know that you relate so definitely cool looks like a fun nice cool game to relax in the vita so definitely i uh, will be checking that out you know as well and to give one quick run of all the games for PS Plus for the month of August 2017, you will be getting Just Cause 3 and Assassin's Creed Freedom Cry for the PS4, Super Mario Load and Snake Ball for PS3, Down Well, which has a cross by with PS4, along with Level 22 for the PlayStation Vita. If you want to join, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and subscribe down below. I appreciate all the things you me. Thanks for watching, and as always, I got you.